Ghost of Tsushima is an action-adventure game set in late 13th century Japan. It follows Jin Sakai, a samurai warrior who seeks to protect Tsushima Island during the Mongol invasion. Trained by his uncle, Lord Shimura, Jin survives the initial attack thanks to a thief named Yuna. Realizing traditional samurai tactics are insufficient, Jin adopts guerrilla warfare causing a rip with his uncle. As Jin gathers allies and continues his fight, he becomes known as the Ghost, a symbol of hope and terror. His actions led to the rescue of his uncle, but strained their relationship due to Jin's unorthodox methods. The story culminates in a final battle against the Mongol leader, Kodun Khan, where Jin liberates Tsushima. However, the shogun orders Jin's capture for dishonoring the samurai code, leading to a heartbreaking duel with his uncle. The game explores themes of honor, sacrifice, and legacy, showcasing Jin's transformation from a traditional samurai to the ghost. This narrative, along with stunning visuals and rich historical context, makes Ghost of Tsushima a memorable experience. Hey yo everyone! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we take a look at Spin Master, The Shapes Collection, Ghost of Tsushima, Jin Sakai action figure, which is part of their line doing PlayStation Originals character action figures. Let's start with the packaging. Before everything else, I would like to apologize with the condition of the packaging. The shipping company really messed this package up in transit. The front of the box states PlayStation, Ghost of Tsushima, Jin Sakai, 6 inch figure with 32 points of articulation. It has a huge clear window where you can see the figure and everything that comes with it. At the right side of the box, we see part of the figure and its accessories, which is not a lot. It states 32 points of articulation again and also lists the people responsible for the sculpt and paint of the figure. The lab shows, I think, a photo from the game, packaging, and you can also see the name and logo of the line, which is the Shapes Collection. Finally, the back of the box shows the same art from the packaging of the game. Now, let us crack this thing open and see if Spin Master did justice to this character in the action figure form. The figure scales at 5 and 3 quarter inches or around 15 centimeters. As for accessories, he doesn't really come with a lot. He just have this sheet of the sword which I already attached there and the sword which he's holding now. Now aside from that, he also comes with the mask which you can wear on him. As far as details concerned, it is definitely A+. Plus. The head sculpt is amazing. They definitely captured the characters. Unfortunately, the this sheet and the sword are the only ones that are removable. This one the, which I guess is a knife or a short sword, is fixed. The one at his back is also fixed. 
So yeah, this is the only thing that he can hold. The other two, and this one, they are also picks. They're mostly statics. As for the sculpt and details and paint job that was done on this figure, my breath was really taken away as I pull it out of the box. So guys, I'll just let you be the judge. Amazing paint job. The details on this figure is amazing. Spin Master is really on the top of its game with this line. I mean the little the littlest details even on the shoe. Amazing. As for the scaling of the figure within the line, I think it is perfect. Here he is with the my very first Spin Master, the Shapes Collection, Aloy. Yeah, I think that's 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 a perfect scaling there. And here he is with my second Spin Master Ships collection, Kratos from the God of War. And again, as I said, within the line, the scaling is perfect. Kratos is supposed to be a bigger guy. So yeah, this works pretty well for me. Problem is with other six inch line, I think the, as I said before, on my other Spin Master, the Shapes Collection figure, I think these are in the lower or smaller scale, like SHP Arts, because Wolverine is one of the smaller figures of Marvel Legends, and they are almost the same size. And you would see that as far as the whole build of the figure, it is really on the smaller scale. They don't really match with Marble Legends. Here he is with Spider-Man. And yeah, Spider-Man is bigger than him. Which is not accurate. And here he is with a G.I. Joe figure, Scarlet. Again, as I said. If you will look at it, scaling of Spin Master is more on the smaller side of the six inch figures. Now let's check the articulation. So for the head, the head has a, has a ball peg on the connected here and the neck also has a ball peg. So it can do that, can do that, can do that. So Articulation of the head is actually pretty good. This cape is actually articulated. It's connected by a ball peg here. Problem is with my copy, this tends to pop up very easily. I'm not sure if it is an issue with all, but in my copy, this always tends to pop up like that. As for the hands, he can do the T-pose. He actually has a pretty good butterfly articulation. And then there's that bicep cut. And again, my issue with this line, single jointed elbow, so they can only do that. I don't know why, but yeah. This is as this is always my issue with the Spin Masters line, uh, PlayStation line. They only have single jointed elbow. He has an abdominal cut, so you can do that. 
and you can you can move forward a little a little there side to side not so much so as far as abdominal it's mostly effective for that articulation but for looking backward forward or side to side there isn't really much there and you know why because it doesn't have any waist rotation i check it i've done that and i even tried looking below here yeah there's no waist rotation this is one single piece for the leg he has a tie cut oh man is this really just single is it single yeah i think it's just single you can only do up to that that's the only range and then for the uncle rocker you can do that uh, uh not the articulation can kick forward that far and kick back that far and you can do the Van Dam pretty well, actually. And just to give you an idea of the connection. Doesn't really look good here. This part of the leg looks pretty weird. I mean, look, it's like they're too flat here. Let me just show you. See? It's like it's very flat on this side. Yeah, it says thirty-two points of articulation, but to be honest, I don't. I I don't think there is. Am I missing some small parts? I don't know, but as far as I'm concerned, of the this is the third Spin Master the ships collection that I've had and. For the articulation part, this is the one with the less articulation. I'm not really that satisfied with its articulation. Especially of the fact that it also only had one a single jointed knee and the range is only like that. Overall, I'm thinking of the well this is the third spin master figure that i bought first is aloy wherein i'm really excited with that figure i'm pretty amazed with it but it is a deluxe version i guess that's why it has more uh accessories and articulation compared to the two figures which is kratos and this one and then kratos uh, it's kind of okay. I'm a little disappointed with the lack of, of accessories, but then I guess price-wise it is also lower because I guess it is not a deluxe version. So yeah, I am okay with it. With this one, I am actually, this figure is actually the one I'm more excited about. I'm really excited with this figure. And Okay, anyway, as far as the sculpt and the paint job that is done on this figure, it is amazing. It is a very good looking figure. And for that, I think it's worth buying it. My problem is with the articulation. Articulate of the three figures, this is the one which I guess got the short straw when it comes to articulation. Uh, it says 32 points of articulation, so I'm not sure if where where they counted all of that, but yeah, I I think this one the, the, this is the figure which I got the lowest point of articulation because aside from the single jointed elbow, the knee is also single jointed. So I don't know where the other points of articulation that they counted goes, but if that is uh, not an issue with you guys uh, then yeah go get this figure because as i said mold wise and paint wise it is amazing 
I guess uh, that's why the it is uh, it is just right that they put the name of the sculptor and the, and the painter in the packaging because they really serve, they really deserve the praise on their final product on the final product sculpt wise and paint wise definitely amazing um, the engineering on the, the execution on the articulation though that's I think that's the weak point of this figure anyway guys if you've reached this part of my video thanks a lot if you like my video please don't forget to share uh, and subscribe um, and as usual guys enjoy life and keep collecting